a compact crossover that has been around since the early 2000s. The Hyundai Tucson is Korea's answer to the Ford Escape and Honda CR-V. Priced from 81,000 to 110,000 for this fully loaded variant. Come, let's dig below the surface and see if the Tucson is capable of holding a candle up to its more expensive American and Japanese rivals. Evolution, less revolution. The design of the third generation Tucson stays true to previous models and retains its ability to attract second glances. Flaunting the bold hexagonal grille that has become a distinct part of the brand's design language, the Tucson is fitted with xenon projector headlamps, daytime running lights, and large 19 inch alloys wrapped around 245 section rubber. Not its strongest suit and failing to do justice to its striking exterior, the cabin of the 2018 Tucson is let down by cheap materials and limited passenger room. Despite keeping adaptive cruise control and autonomous emergency braking for its American siblings, the GCC spec Tucson is fairly well equipped with the lengthy spec sheet highlighting a tire pressure monitoring system, blind spot monitoring, ventilated seats, a touchscreen infotainment system, a panoramic roof, and plenty more. Although rear legroom is better than expected, and the rear AC vents and split 6040 reclining second row are worth highlighting, the lack of USB charging ports and limited rear headroom do come as an unpleasant surprise. Powered by a 2.4-litre four-cylinder engine that produces 173 horsepower and 226 newton meters of torque, the Tucson is the weakest of its rivals. While drive modes come in the form of Eco, Normal and Sport, with each of them altering the weight of the steering and how long the transmission holds on to gears, the Tucson is a comfortable city cruiser with a soft suspension setup that we've come to know and love from the brand. Despite being fitted with an electronically locking center differential, hill descent control and all-wheel drive, the Tucson's off-road aspirations are hindered by its limited ground clearance, meaning tackling anything larger than your average pavement requires skill and courage. With a six-speed automatic transmission handling the distribution of power, the Tucson averages 7.9 litres for every 100 kilometres, which is good for it sits between the CRV at 6.8 litres for every 100 kilometres and the Escape at 8.2 litres for every 100 kilometres. If driving dynamics rank highly on your list and you aren't going through a midlife crisis, then turn away from the Tucson, ignore the CRV, and head straight for the turbocharged Escape in Ford's showroom. If you're big on comfort, and you've got a sizable budget, then the CRV is what you'll want to be signing your checks for. As for the Tucson, well, it's not the best, but it is the most affordable, and that's about all it has going for it. Thanks for watching.